Okay, well, let's just say, hypothetically, we do decide to indulge over the holidays, which very well happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really does. There's so many temptations everywhere. And the thing is, is we're all having fun. We're with our family. We're with our friends. And sometimes you just want to have a cookie. Well, <laughs> do not fear, because in the new year, there is a chance that we can all get right back on the bandwagon. And we are going to learn how to stick to those resolutions with our good friend, Dr. Nathalie Beauchamp, joining us. It's good to see you again. Hi, hi. How are you? Very well, thanks. This is a great topic. And this is the time we should be talking about it. Exactly. Because when we fall off the bandwagon, it's mm. too late, mm. right? Now is the time to make those resolutions, isn't it? I think the main thing that we need to talk about is, are, are people doing their goals? Or do they sit down and do it? And it's, it's just, when I do lectures, I always ask, who has written goals? And I swear on a you know, group of 80 people, I have one person raising their Are hand. you serious? I'm, I'm not kidding. It's, wow. it's unbelievable. So the point with this, I think, is put things in writing. And I think, you know, the question here is why are people not successful with their, their New Year resolution? They're kind of out there, not, you know, the way to write smart goals and so forth, which uh, is what we're going to discuss. But I think more clearer than this, people have to realize what's their purpose, what's their vision, what's their mission. I do that all the time uh, at my clinic with my team, and I do that for myself. And I think people do that in their place of work. You know, big corporation, you'll see the mission statement on the wall and their purpose and so yeah. forth. But what's your purpose in life? Why do you get Personally. up in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's so it's such yeah. a great exercise to do. I do it, you know, actually a couple times a year because your, your purpose, your vision changes a little bit. So the purpose statement is it's just why do you do what you do? Right. Why do you guys get up in the morning? You know? yeah. The vision statement is... I don't have the answer to that. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to give you here. some homework. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. But do that exercise, guys, and I'd love to hear your answer. So mm -hmm. the vision statement is more what do I want to create and what does that purpose look like? When you have your, your, your living the life of your dream, what is it going to look like, feel right. like, and you, you got the vision. Okay. Then the mission statement is all about a statement about um, action and the goals that are going to provide you a sense of direction. Okay. okay, see the nuance? I mean, if you go online, you can get the definition. And uh, it took me a while to sort things out, to be honest, because it can be a little bit confusing. But now this is what makes sense to me. Why do I do what I do is my purpose. What do I want to create is my vision statement. And then what are the goals, the steps that I'm going to take is going to be my mission. I think I know the answers. Okay. Yeah, I think cool. so. I yeah, think I so. N Natalie, just, why is it so important to write it down and, and not just have it in your head? Because there is something that has to be said about writing things down and have and looking at it regularly. Right. I mean, don't write this and then shove it in your in your closet. This should almost be your desktop, basically, mm -hmm. that you're going to see it all the time. That's where we're going to talk mm -hmm. about vision board. And just before we continue, my second segment here is on time management, and I can tell you right now we won't have time to get there. So I'll do that <laughs> next time. There you go. So we'll have to do it next so time. So I'm planning. I'm right. planning ahead already. Well, maybe we will. I don't know. So goal setting, I think everybody's heard of the SMART uh, process. So specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time bound. You know, you see those magazines, lose 30 pounds in four hours like yeah. I mean this is not you know smart really because it's not realistic and you also don't want to set yourself up for failure right you want to right. set yourself goals that you'll be able to achieve so you're going to feel good about it mm -hmm. and have fun with this I do that with my the people on my program and it's so cool that you know the the things that uh, they will do to pair up with a friend that they're going to go work out with or uh, go buy that you know size eight dress they want to fit in mm -hmm. that's going to be their reward like play play with it so specific what exactly do you want to accomplish measurable uh, I will I, how will I know I reach my goal? Attainable, again, very self-explanatory. Realistic, is your goal enough of a stretch for you that it's going to push you out of your comfort zone, but not, you know, totally not be... Not completely ridiculous. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then the time. Put a time. How many people want to lose some weight? Mm -hmm. Well, what is some weight? Put a number to it. What's your timeline? Is yeah. it beneficial to do uh, have smaller goals leading up to a larger you goal? You bet. You bet. That's a great point, to have it in sections. So this way you can sort of mini you reward yourself and find okay. something that you know obviously if you're trying to lose weight maybe the reward doesn't have to be food well maybe it is you know has uh, the give one shoe and then the <laughs> next one you get the next shoe <laughs> exactly right yes otherwise you hobble <laughs> there you go a few stats that i thought i would put up here um 23 people percent have no idea what they want from life 
I mean, that's scary, isn't that it? That is a frightening Yeah, that is. 67% number. have generally a uh, general idea of what they want, but they do not have any plans on how to get there. That looks 67. realistic. Isn't yeah. That looks like a realistic thing, because even what you just said at the beginning there, you know, at first I thought, oh, I can't answer that question. But then when I took, like, two seconds, I thought, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, yeah. we don't, we don't, uh, we have a general idea, but we exactly. don't think enough 10 about it. 10% have specific, well-defined goals. So, you know, mm -hmm. very uh, short amount of, of people. And have fun with it. I know if I go back myself 10 years ago, I didn't really want to write goals, because what if I don't achieve them? You know right. what I mean? So it's that disappointment. But since I've been playing with this, like literally playing with this, it is so much fun. And I put a, a, a picture here of my vision board. Um, it's, it's huge. And I, I have a, you know, a joke with my husband that uh, I had to fight to have it and stay in the house because it, it is so big. <laughs> but I won, so it's there. Good for you. But, you know, we're, we're going to redesign it. And you don't need this. Maybe it's on your, your desktop that you're going to see it. Right. But don't put it in a closet where you, go, you, you won't uh, see it. So this is obviously the, um, the movie The Secret. So mm -hmm. I strongly suggest people watch that movie if you haven't already. The book is great, but I think the movie does it, you know, way more mm -hmm. justice. Vision board. Get together with a bunch of friends, with magazine, and cut things from the magazine. What appeals to you? What resonates with you? It doesn't have to be material. It could be a happy family on the beach. It could be. Right. I do this with people at, at the clinic. I do that with my my team. Like it just so much fun. Words, oh yeah, sort of whatever thing. whatever it is. Where is yours? My bedroom. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So when I get ready in the morning, it's it's right Well, you right did there. win out on that one. I did. Even I did. It's not even in the rec room. <laughs> it's no. in the bedroom. And. <laughs> Um, I was told actually this week, can you make it a little bit nicer? Because it's just, I said, no, I'm not doing this. So, but uh, that's what it is. And then what I've done, and I give that um, to the people that are taking my roadmap program, is divide your vision board in six categories. It's going to make it easier when you plug your, your picture. So personal development and relationship, career, fitness, nutrition, and food for the soul, material things, and time saver, finances, and legacy. What do you mm. want to leave as a legacy? What did you want to be remembered uh, for? So I plugged those things in six areas of my board, and then I took my pictures and just did that. Interesting to break them up like this. Yeah, because it, when it really we think helps. about this, how many of us truthfully focus on career and finance? Right. Like when you think about, oh, you know, goals and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like to think about fitness, fitness and nutrition as one of your goals and mm -hmm. things, uh, time savers, personal development. I mean, that's uh, wonderful to point that out specifically because yeah. it should be part of it. Yeah, and More I think, of it. Yeah, oh, and I think the top one is everyone one. forgets about. Yeah. Right? yeah. It, it, it's which a is consequence sad. Yeah, absolutely. of attaining the others. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? yeah, you need to read a few books a month on personal development and, and read stuff that interests you, but mm -hmm. you need to be part. I, I'm doing three online courses right now on different topics, and I just love it. I mean, I do it from the comfort of my home, but, you know, I'm just learning so much and I'm growing. And, you know, so, you know, whoever in your circle of friend likes that kind of stuff, pair up and just, you know, get a whole bunch of magazine. It's amazing yeah, what uh, we'll idea. do. And I'm assuming we're out of time, so we'll do that next we time. Have, <laughs> no, we have about one minute, but I think... Probably not yeah, to get not into to, this, not but... Not to start this, but if you just want to give the concept... Yeah, well, I love this, this quote here. If you're not managing your time, it is managing you. Yeah. And it is yeah, so true. true. And so the little exercise we're going to do next time is we're going to count the hours in one day. We're going to count, you know, sleeping and, and doing all this. And well, I think people are going to be shocked of how much time we're wasting right and just this weekend I was uh, in New Jersey with a, um, a group of other doctors and um, the, the speaker was talking about creating rhythm in your life <clears throat> and in your business what do you do every week that you know you're doing that on Tuesday at 630 and I was so I thought I was pretty organized but listening to this man he calls his wife at 1130 every day like it just rhythm on everything yeah. that he does Tuesday night they go for date night and you know and he, he's having fun with it. It's not that, you know, he, he, it's pressure on him, but he just knows everything that's happening. And people in his life know, oh, at 11.30, he's calling his wife. Yeah. I'm not yeah, going to call him because I know he's calling his wife. So I think um, creating rhythms like that and is, habit. oh, it, yeah. I think, I can't wait to actually Well, this is good. To, it is good to bring it up and introduce the concept because this time of year when we're incredibly busy, like we were oh, saying yeah. before, it's good to think about this, get it in your mind, give yourself a little bit of rhythm, and then we'll, re we'll talk about this concept. 
concept concept again in the new year, which is a good time to. Yeah. to and talk. I'm expecting yeah. both your vision, your purpose. Yeah, and your oh, absolutely. Statement. Email we'll it to it. Okay. Facebook. Okay. It. No question. All right. No question. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Dr. Natalie, it's always great to see you. You can uh, reach Dr. Natalie and uh, find her roadmap to wellness as well. Everything, all her great tips at Dr. W Dr. Natalie Beauchamp. Ca. Okay. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back.